Hello dear students welcome to axiomatic course this video is the part of the solution series for IIT jam 2009 so we are here with this problem 10 of your paper so let us firstly have a look on this problem so it says let a be a non zero real number then this limit limit x goes to a 1 over x square minus uh, x square minus a square with this integral equals so you have four options you have to find out the limit so now let me uh, write down okay is so firstly i should change my ink so wait okay so what we have okay we have this limit x going to a 1 over x square minus a square and from here you have a to x sine t square dt so this is your question okay so now just try to put your limit here if you will put your limit here x is equal to a then this thing will be zero right because a square minus a square is zero now on the integral part you will also have zero because your integration is from a to a if it is from a to a therefore it is again zero because limits are constant okay it's not moving at all so area under the curve will be zero so from here if i write this integral as limit x goes to a integral a to x sine t square dt over x square minus a square okay then what is i am getting 0 by 0 so 0 by 0 is an indeterminate form right so since it's an indeterminate form so we, we got a hint that we can apply l hospital rule okay to apply l hospital rule actually what we have to do we have to just uh, differentiate this thing okay separately so we have numerator we have denominator we have to differentiate them separately now on the numerator part what we have we have integral okay so what we have to apply differentiation under the integral sign so if you have studied the Leibniz rule then Leibniz rule will tell you how to differentiate under the integral sign so let me show you that Leibniz rule and using that Leibniz rule you can differentiate it okay otherwise you will not be able to use L hospital rule here so let me show you that Leibniz rule so just wait okay so see this is the Leibniz rule okay what it says that okay where is my cursor okay what it says simply okay so it says that let fxt be a function such that both fxt and its partial derivative so this is the partial derivative are continuous in t and x in some reason of the xt plane including ax okay so this is the condition okay i'm not going to read it now also suppose that the function ax and bx both are continuous and have continuous derivative then this rule will be followed okay so what should i do i should write this rule again because there was a mis uh, mistake in writing that rule so i am writing that again for you okay so what this rule actually suggests to you that d by dx of ax to bx okay fxt dt so if you are doing this thing then it is actually equal to ax to bx okay and here you have to partially differentiate it with respect to x plus b dash of x f of x comma bx 
माइनस ए डैश ऑफ एक्स एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉमा ए एक्स सो आई हैव रिटर्न इट डाउन फॉर यू सो दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस रूल इजिली ओके सो नाउ इट्स विजिबल टू यू इट्स वेरी ईजी रूल ऑल दो द कंडीशन आर लिटिल बिट मच मोर ओके सो यू हैव टू चेक मैनी थिंग्स दैट वेदर एफ एक्स टीज इज अ डिफ्रेंशियबल फंक्शन और नॉट ओके सॉरी नॉट डिफ्रेंशियबल सॉरी इट्स अ कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन और नॉट इट्स पार्शल डेरिवेटिव इज कंटिन्यूस और नॉट सो ऑल दोज थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू चेक सो नाउ लेट एस कम टू अवर केस वॉट वी हैव एज अ एफ एक्स टी दिस इज अवर एफ एक्स टी राइट सो दिस इज अवर एफ एक्स टी नाउ it's your job to check whether this fxt is continuous or not and whether its partial derivative is continuous or not okay i am going to differentiate directly so what you will end up with if you will differentiate this thing use this rule okay so partial derivative of this fxt that you have right now is zero so i i don't need that part so if you will differentiate it using this rule you will end up with uh this okay and on the denominator part you will end up with this 2x you got this thing or not okay so this is what we are getting now if you will place a here then what you will get you will get okay you will get sin a square right over 2a so what you are getting sin a square over 2a that means your a option is the correct options and all the remaining options are incorrect so what i can do now i can change my ink so a is correct b is incorrect c is incorrect and d is also incorrect so this is how we can do it's a very easy question not that much difficult so thank you